Always build a major dong. Always build a major dong. That's what the gallery is to get your replays on. Always build a major dong. In the Polybridge Gallery. Check the bridge works and upload for all to see. Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 2. Yes, I've been beavering away, still making the songs because I know you guys secretly do love the songs, really. And speaking of beavering away, be sure to check out my new plushie that's available. It's only for a limited time only, the engineering beaver, complete with detachable vest and log. But yes, for now, we are still in the bonus worlds of this. We're nearly halfway through Gleamtown. We've done every level so far under budget and with no parts breaking. Can we continue? And I don't think that's a good omen. This next level is called Letdown. So what do we have here then? We got Monster Truck there. There's a star. I feel like that's... Yeah, we probably need to get up to there. And then over to... Okay, that's easy, isn't it? Don't I just... I've got unlimited road. I got material. What? Why is, why is this so hard? What if I press... Put... Oh, oh, what? Look at that. It just shattered. No, don't drive. Stop. Stop, mate. Stop. Okay, so yeah, that's that's not ideal. Uh, are we attached at this end? Yeah, look, it looks like we are. Okay, so there's probably a node there. So all I need to do is make something strong enough to attach both of these, right? So can I just like, can I just wang a muscle like that? That would be strong enough, wouldn't it? Oh, no. Whoa. What? How much do these weigh? Oh, they've got mass. Wait, what? Motorized? Oh, no. It's got a motor in it. So I can't actually stop it. It also has a mass of five. Oh, okay. I think I understand what's going on now. So I think I need to build a bridge that sort of works from there. What? This is going to be insane. Okay. But yeah, I feel like I probably... Let's turn the grid off. We definitely don't need the grid for this. I feel like I probably need a road that sort of curls up a bit like that, perhaps. So what if we go for something like that? And let's just see... Oh, I'll tell you what. That's not, that's not bad. He's staying dry. He's definitely staying dry, so it just needs to continue a bit longer. Okay, that was a damn good guess, Matt. Fair play. Pat on the back. So how is that looking? Does that go too steep? Yeah, probably goes a little bit too steep. Okay, so we'll bring that down. Down. It might be worth bringing some of these up, actually. I've got the I've got the room. So I'm basically building like a sinking bridge. Sounds bizarre, but I think it's the right thing to do. And then, yeah, if I just mirror this to the other side, that goes there. I don't think we'll be too far off. I'm glad I didn't spend forever trying to like keep those two parts together, though. Right, what's going to happen here then? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> if we add like a spring underneath, that might give us a bit of give. We may need to add a bit more compression so they don't flap as much. But the idea is is we can get onto the other side without it breaking. So yeah, if I just make this spring a little bit... Oh, spring adjustment's not allowed in this level. Brilliant. Cheers, game. Okay, what about a spring just on the landing one? And then this one doesn't have a spring. And then I'll just make that a little bit stronger. So, oh, actually, I failed to realize we're nowhere near the star. All right, so I've sort of got somewhere. I had to use rope on this side to make that strong enough. This side, although our transfer is very, very smooth now, there is that thud which keeps breaking stuff. So if I just truss on top like that, that should make that bit of road a lot stronger. Then now when it goes across, the next one breaks. Then we do another truss on top of that one. And we see that we're now over budget. So what if we just make it small enough so that we're just under? We'll turn the stress on as well. And we'll try and see what happens as we could donk. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. I'm completely over budget as well. If I could perhaps get rid of that force. So if I just make that final bit of road like a flapper, maybe that will absorb the kadunk. Yes, that is the technical term for this. So kadunk. No, no good. Well, maybe if I lose the top truss and then I just try and put all of this underneath, I can probably make this stronger, to be fair. So I mostly want to work in like that direction. So, so like these ones, I don't really want to go up like that, like I usually would, because I know the force is going to be coming from the right. So yeah, I'm better off doing that. Maybe just reinforce these roads so they don't break. So let's try that. Pretty pricey still, but we are just under budget. And I think this will be stronger than 
Yes, the reinforced road very much helped there. Can we get up there? That was close. You nearly got a wet bump. No, no. <laughs> oh, we didn't make it. Uh, quite intrigued to see. Yeah, I was going to say if he can survive. No, he can't. Okay, so all we got to do is just raise these up a bit. Just being mindful of the price. Can I sneak like a bit of wood in there to save some money so I can raise this? All right, so we've just about made our sinking bridge. I think that's... Perfect. Yeah, we made it. We made it. 51,361 quid. That is probably the worst position I've ever been. Top 79%. That is, well, in a word, it's useless. And it's got me thinking, like that other moving bridge I did, could I make a node here? So the trouble with this, we don't know exactly where we rotate from. But if I could find that point on both sides, I can pretty much make an anchor. I, rec I reckon it's going to be that point in there. So if we go to that, we then go up to there, down to there. And then we just got to try and work out if this... Oh, it drops down. Because basically my plan is, let's just get rid of that for now. If I could get... Some some sort of a bridge from let's say it is that point and then over to that point like if we did some sort of arch bridge probably doesn't need to be too steep so let's try filling in that line <laughs> and then essentially i don't connect to any of these anchor points beneath i'm just going to build like a truss so if we just do that in wood for now then we fill it with steel and then we just fix this node in so basically as long as i've got that in the right place then this bridge underneath can like move all at once as long as that node doesn't move and over this side that node doesn't move this shouldn't collapse so let's press play oh oh it's working. Okay, so I just need to make a bridge that's strong enough, which that one isn't. So something like that. I basically just made these a little bit stronger and I just made the triangles in the middle a little bit taller because uh, that makes everything a little bit stronger. You can see the stress as it goes across the red up there. So that's really good. 35 grand. I could probably... Could I swap some of these middle pieces with wood? Because we know that most of the stress is going to be on this outer bit. So if I leave that as steel, but the rest as wood, uh, except for maybe these end pieces, which just exploded instantly. So let's watch the stress as it drives over. Yeah, that's looking... Ooh, ooh, that's going red. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, just under 27 grand. And I haven't even like tried to trim this yet. So we just really want to keep an eye on things that go orange. I mean, we could potentially get away with that being wood or not. Yeah, so I tried making this thing wood, didn't work, but I could probably just make it way smaller because look at the price coming down. So yeah, we'll do similar on this side. Probably make this under here a little bit smaller. Replace these with wood. And I'll tell you what, if we watch this with the stress on, you can see how red every piece goes. <laughs> oh man, that is pretty damn efficient. We're like pretty much in the 90% every single stage of this bridge. So, oh, top 5%. 23rd in the world. It's almost like I was a real engineer or something. Ah, ah, he said it. He said it. Anyway, let's have a look in the gallery. So the cheapest solution was, of course, glitching it. Cheers for that. But the next cheapest, it was just doing the original idea, not a bridge. Interesting. But it was using wood. And somehow... <laughs> Somehow it doesn't break. Look at the max stress though. Engineered to perfection. No safety factor on that bridge. So yeah, it looks like most of these were my original solution, just being way more efficient with it. This one though, they actually did they actually did a bridge. And they didn't bother trying to find that point. It's just what, what the hell? Hang on, what's going on in the middle? Is it just I can't tell what they've done in the middle. Is there like a spring in there or something? I'm guessing there must be springs in there holding that together. You know, this one, oh my goodness, look at that. That could be mine. What's the, oh the price is like pretty much identical to mine. Fair enough we pretty much did the same solution i mean annoyingly theirs is like a grand cheaper but yeah let's have a look at some of the more funky ones like what is going on there <laughs> love it that's really cool <laughs> muscles for days reminds me of when i look at myself in the mirror anyway we've then got this one which is a similar thing but there's like an arch over it and then the, the bridge is actually held in place by two ropes so that can move so i feel like they've sort of done the one bridge thing but they've still allowed for some movement i guess they just didn't spend time getting that like midpoint completely accurate this i don't even what am i looking at there there's loads of rope. Fair enough. Look, there is a little gap there as well. They, I guess they didn't get their node in the right spot either. Now this one, they've gone up and under with the with the trusses. There's like tension going on as well. Blimmin' out. And then we've got this one. Give Paddy treats. Well, I will. As long as any of you watching, go over to Paddy's channel and subscribe him. I would love for my dog to get his own YouTube plaque. That would literally be the dream. Uh, link in my description, as always. Now we've got this one, which has some very efficient design going on with... Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> with some piercings, I think. Oh, look, it doesn't break at all, though. Very nice. You go, oh, look, someone's tried to do it from just one side. They're like, screw your other platform. I only need one. How is that strong enough? Fair play. No way. This has got to break when it gets to the end. Oh, look how smooth it was. Fair play. That is some serious engineering going on there. There we go. RCE. Cheers, mate. I like your counterweight. Looks very, very efficiently placed. We have engineering and the E has been erected into the air. <laughs> Literally. Uh, Tommy the Potato, they sure do like their trusses. They, <laughs> they spent a million quid on it. This one. Oh, look at that. They've used the nodes in the background. Like, screw you guys. We don't need your moving nodes. We'll make our own up here. You see, they've also got a bit of tension going on with the cable and that node. Now, this one, I feel like they just literally gave up in life. Like, <laughs> I'll just trust it to hell. It's still broke as well. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. But, uh, we've all been there. We've all been in that situation where you just keep adding material and hope that it's getting stronger. Now, this one, another cheekily mod. What the frig? What? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, someone modded that a little bit too much. And then finally, we have the Nifty solution. You can always count on the Nifty solution to give you a lovely cup of solution. And when I say solution, I just mean a brew. Nifty, the engineer's brew. Anyway, after that big success, let's move on to the next level up in the air. We've got 100 grand for this one. All right, so there's blooming, there's balloons everywhere. Okay, so this car here, 8.2, it's got to get up to A2 flag. That makes sense. And this car, it's got to get over to there. Okay. Okay, how fast do these guys move? Fairly. Reasonably. Uh, so what I'm sort of thinking, we probably want to go like up to there somewhere. So let's fill that in with road. Boosh. Then I'm pretty sure I remember, you, yeah, you can't, you can't build on balloons. So we're probably going to have to dangle most of this. This looks like a hell of a lot of bridge as well. So let's just truss the hell out of it. And then let's just dangle it with some rope. So we'll hang one there. I guess one sort of over that way. One down there-ish. Does that hold? Oh, not in the slightest. Okay. But if I add another cable to like the end there, that probably should be strong enough. Yeah, that's looking good. That is actually looking okay-ish. Now, we do need to think about this guy, though. So we're going to have to take you. I mean, I could probably copy like a lot of that. Then just mirror it and shove it down there. And if I just rotate it so it more sits with the balloon, then hopefully this guy guy has some speed. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon we could get rid of like that and perhaps make some sort of like jump. We'll probably have to replace all of those with wood just to keep everything from breaking. But essentially, I want... Oh, that's... Oh, that's actually perfect if it didn't break. I don't know. Let's just replace some stuff that breaks with steel. Look how perfect that jump is, man. Like this gap is so good. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> all right. So with stress on, let's just have a look at this. Uh, oh, so close. The down there broke. So perhaps I want to like just make these trusses a bit bigger to compensate. We've only used half of our budget, by the way. So looking pretty good. Oh, that was so close. Okay, we did actually get the flags, but we did die. So let's just make these a bit bigger. And then hopefully... Oh, that's so good. I can't believe I did that perfectly like first time. And we're in the top 14%. Oh, yes, Matt. <laughs> oh, we got beaten by pepperoni nips. Uh, to be honest, looking at the stress, I'm not entirely sure there's too much I could do. I mean, maybe I replace some of these with normal road. I don't think so. I think there was a reason why they were reinforced. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe there wasn't a reason. Okay, that saved us a few quid. Top 12% now. <laughs> Okay, so surely we can just make all these trusses smaller, right? Yeah, uh, the downside is the butterfly effect. We now... Oh, we hit the edge of that road now. I mean, could I just lift these up? a little bit. Okay, well, I started making this smaller and then I sort of realized, like, do I need that at all? Probably not. So let's have a look. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine without that. Okay, so I can then make this one smaller, probably. Delete a couple of these ropes that I don't need. Make these trusses smaller. Try wood back in there instead of steel. Could I do the same on this one? Delete that. I'm gonna guess Probably not, but I will try. No. Nope. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Up this end, I can probably make the ramp smaller. I could probably go to like there. Not the one before, maybe, but I'll try that one. So jump still works. That gets up fine. Okay, I reckon we'll just stop there. 42,743, top 8%, 45th in the world. Let's have a little gander in the gallery. So the cheapest way of doing that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, we need to see what's going on. Let's have a look at the left side first. So normal ramp. Oh no, it gets springed. It gets like spring launched. So if you look, 
Boosh, it really gets pinged so it can make the jump. Okay, then on the left side. Oh, yeah, so they both get spring launched. Okay, sort of cheating, but I guess I'll let you have it. They've all they've all done this. So everyone's just spring cannon. Yeah, so very cheeky solutions. I mean, I guess it's not cheeky. If you got springs, may as well use them. Yeah, this one. Oh, look, they go under. What the? What the? It did a backflip. Watch the car on the right. So it goes, whoa, perfect backflip. Oh, that is genius. And that's cheaper than mine. What? That is, that's not fair. That's cheaper than mine. He does a backflip. All sorts of carnage going on here. What does that little thing do? Oh, that just makes it clear the jump. Okay, that must have taken so long to time. It does look like there's a few people that did it my way, but like this guy used a cat flap rather than a jump. This guy really exaggerated the jump as well. Huge. I kind of like it though. Lots of people going all the way over and all the way under as well. Lots of bridge. Oh, that had a cat flap as well. Uh, this one, which I'm not just looking because it has an RCE at the bottom. Look, it uses like a bouncy thing to make sure it lands on the flag. It doesn't fly too far. Uh, this one is really fast, but look, they've gone the long way round. So to get to that balloon, they've gone down the bottom, like under this balloon and up there. So if we watch it, jumps off, goes all, <laughs> all the way up. Love that. Uh, this one makes use of some very efficient engineering principles, as well as having the RCE stamp of approval. This one, hello, has a whole lot of trust, which I'm not actually sure is doing anything. Does that actually say, does that say go buy his merch or his plushie? I'm not sure. Something like that, I reckon. Then this one. Oh, the nifty sponsored solution is all cable. So yeah, they've said screw compression. We only work under tension because if you're under tension, you can use nifty to relieve it. Hmm, nifty, the engineer's brew. Anyway, we'll move on to our next level. Holding me back. 50 grand to spend. And uh, what is going on with you? What is that? Oh, is that the flag behind it? So you want to drive that way. You want to drown yourself. Oh, look, there's a star in the middle. Okay, so we've got to, we've got to allow you to get to the star and then fall off perhaps. So this thing drives, right? Yeah, it's got acceleration. Okay, I guess that's why it's called holding me back. If we put a bit of road in there, we can do just triangles like that, do a bit of rope over to there-ish and put another triangle there with a bit of road. So that should hold it in place, right? Let's just see. So yeah, that can't get off now. That's good. We then just need to build a bridge. So hopefully we can get across in 18 bits of road. They're two meters each. So if we do a straight line, 28 meters. So yeah, we should have some road left over. So I imagine we're going to have to go like up or something to try and get it to fall off. I mean, I guess for now, let's just fill that in with road. So ready, boosh. And then I'll just do like a bridge in steel just to see how this is going to work. He says as he builds a truss in wood. So stress on. Let's see how strong this bridge is. Oh, bridge is fine. Br bridge is almost fine. Right, okay, so that's my bridge. So we drag this over and then when you get the start, what happens next? Well, nothing. You just you just go to the end. Do you stop now, maybe? Hmm, I don't know how to do a catch for this, if I'm honest. Unless I just fiddle about putting it in like different locations. Like maybe at the front, it might fall off when we stop, maybe. So, oh, it's sliding down. It's sliding down. No, that's too soon. That is too soon. I mean, the bridge didn't break. So there's always that. Right, so what if I just try it like slightly on the point there? So as that goes, it is sliding down. But oh, no, it's fallen off too early. Although, although, actually, actually. Yes. Okay, so it's got the thing. And then... Yeah, if you land there, it's strong. Oh, have we done it? 27 grand. We've done it. That's probably going to be really expensive. Oh, no way. Top 21%. Top 21%. Wow. Okay, so if I don't change this bit and just change the bridge to be cheaper, we probably should be fine. So what I'm thinking, I delete all of that, all of that. And then since our nodes are under there, we want to keep the trusses underneath. So what I'm thinking, um, I wonder if, could I be like really cheeky and get away with like that? All right, so that's probably not going to happen. But if we can do something something along those lines, we might be okay, you know? So let's have a look at it. I'll tell you what, that's not too bad. Although you did break, we could replace you with reinforced road. No, we're good. We get, oh, we're not good. Okay. So in a bit of trouble down there. So if I just replace that with steel, as it's so small, muscle probably won't fit. You can see where the main stress is. It's all the way up there. So that, tell you what, let's try putting a muscle down that side like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good actually that does so now we'll just delete that pillar replace with this one because we know it sort of works and then i feel like we wait for this to fall off and realize our bridge is really really weak ready 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 oh no it's stuck on it's stuck on oh it fell off there 
Oh, if that had made it, that might have been okay. All right, so this is what I've come up with. There's a small bit of steel there, uh, but essentially similar thing, apart from the bridge is a lot, lot weaker uh, and therefore a lot cheaper. So 22 and a half grand. Let's see where we are in that leaderboard. Oh, top 5%. No way. <laughs> 34th in the world. I am certified happy now. Um, oh, wow. Look what I've just seen in the gallery. Let's go check that out. So the cheapest solution, the bridge goes a little bit lower. But look how few bits of wood they've used. They've saved like seven grand over mine. Bloomin' hell, fair play. Also underneath in the middle, they've got they've got tension. Yeah, oh, and this guy has a lot of patience as well. You can see the truck went all the way over and then they just wait for it to come back. This one by Zen, they've got some suspension going on there. Some wood cable suspension. Again, waiting for the bridge at the end. That's probably the key because then your bridge doesn't need to be as strong because you're not withstanding the clunk of the of the truck falling off. Now this one as cheap as mine, but they went over and used a lot more steel. So maybe I shouldn't have gone underneath. Maybe I should have stuck with my original concept because yeah, they did the clunk as well, but same price as mine pretty much. Anyway, to my favorite page, page seven. And there it is what we have been waiting for. The burning tip of a solution by Tommy the potato. Now there's also this one. What is going on in the middle? What's, what's in there? I don't know, but Mark, I am curious. All right, so here we've got those down there. That's up there. One of those, two of those, a dangly one underneath and one that loves RCE but did <laughs> what under there oh my goodness and you'll not believe what I found on this next solution you're joking not another one yep one of those who would have thought it <laughs> This one's got stuff coming out the end. But yeah, with us in the top 5%, I think we'll move on to the next level, which is called Carried Away. And there's Hydraulic. So you know what that means? There's no chance in hell I'm completing this one today. You've got to wait till next time. Peace, love, and bridges. Bye, guys.